Worship him some more. We worship I feel like the Lord just wants to bring a breakthrough in sound today because he releases his voice through you. So if you'll just open your mouth, even if you don't feel like you got a pretty voice, make a sound. Let it come out of your being. Let it well up from the inside and come out and join together with the voices around you. Join together with the voices of angels because we are not alone in this place. There's a whole host of heaven that we're joining in with. Just open wide this gate of praise that is your mouth, and he will fill it. Let it come out of you. Let it come out of you in a song, in a sound. Come on, let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Come on. you to create an atmosphere over your life that God can move into. What do I mean by that? God is really trying to break through in every single area of your life. Every area of your life that no, does not glisten with hope is a lie. How many of you are born again? Let me see your hands. Wave them real big like this to me. All right. Every area in your life that does not glisten with hope is a lie. The Bible says your life is hid in Christ. If your life is hid in Christ, then every area of your life where there seems to be a lack of hope is a lie because he is the God of all hope. Do you understand that? Depression, anxiety, strongholds, sicknesses, diseases, conditions of, the, of your life, all of those things that seem to be having a hold on you, a stronghold that you cannot penetrate through, you cannot break through, all of those things that cause depression, heaviness, anxiety, anger, frustration, all of those things are lies because in Him we move and breathe and have our being. Is there any difficulty, is there any stronghold stronger than the blood of Jesus? Can any 
facet of the enemy be stronger than the Holy Spirit who gave Jesus life? Of course not. So there needs to be a breakthrough. I'm really tired of, of going into church services and people coming in and leaving the same way they came in. They had more information, but they had no impartation. It's time for the impartation. It's time for you to have the reality of the Spirit of God breaking through in every area of your life. How many of you have an area you want God to totally break through? L lift your hands. Lift them up. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against every lying spirit. We come against every stronghold that come against your saints. And we declare that the blood of Jesus is stronger than the strongest stronghold in our life. Holy Spirit, come and break through now in every life. Break through now in every body. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Now, come on, give him praise. Give him praise. We worship you. have ever gone into the shower and a song came into your mind and you just sang it and you knew nobody was around so you were just getting with it you know just sing and how many of you have ever done that don't lie you're in church you know it's a, I'm getting up good vibration you know you're just going for it whatever it might be <clears throat> and then you come to church Everybody around you is worshiping God, liberty, and freedom. But they're very stoic. Stoic. And God says, man, aren't I worthy of praise and honor and glory? You know? You know, the Spirit is giving out good vibrations. How many of you know He is? I'm telling you. Uh, Brian Wilkes said something years ago. I'll never forget it. He, he was helping us in our worship, and he said, uh, your voice has a identification print to it. Just like a fingerprint. Everybody has a different fingerprint. But, you know, the, the uh, forensic scientists now can listen to a voice and, and put it on computer, and there's a voice print, okay? So you may sing off key, but God knows your voice print. You understand that? And, and no, matter, no matter whether you are a good singer, a mediocre singer, a horrible singer, God's still listening for your voice print.